Hello and welcome to a new video in the Unity Dev Tries Different Things sort of series thing and in this one we're doing the long-awaited Godot engine which many of the people in my discord uh, assure me will probably be the last time I use Unity once I've finally tried Godot we'll see if they're right so this is literally the first time I've opened Godot and I have no idea what I'm doing. So I do have a window open off screen here. You can't see it in the video, but I do have a window open that's got some basic instructions for how to get like a 2D platformer character movement thing going. And I'm going to try that. So I believe the first thing I need to do is make a new project. So I've got my project. So following on from these instructions here, I need to add, which I believe mean, yep, clicking up here. I need to add a kin kinematic kinematic body 2D, which also needs a sprite, which I guess is what we'll be looking at. And that needs a collider, which is called a collision shape 2D. So let's just set the size or the shape even of the collider, a rectangle shape. How do I add a sprite? Are there any default Oops, pictures that I can use? Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Okay, let's, we'll just try and, for now, we'll just try and move the square around. So, how do I add a script? I mean, do I just, do I just add it like this? Attach script. Okay, let's try that. Uh, okay, right, yeah, this is GD script. So let's just get rid of all that for now, because I am kind of copying and pasting it. I will, by the way, put the link to the thing that I'm using in the description, although it is just Godot recipes, I'm, it's not, I think that's, a, is it an official? Oh no, kidscancode.org. <laughs> I'm using a kids coding aid. That's the channel that you're watching right now. So export, I don't know what export does, but we're gonna type it anyway. No, that's all we need actually for now. Okay, and then also we need a velocity. I mean, most of this should basically be the same as in any other game engine. It's just, I don't know what any of the commands or anything in Godot or GD script. For example, you're not supposed to put semicolons apparently in GD script. That's going to take some getting used to. We need a function to get input, which funnily enough we're just going to call get input. Velocity.x equals zero. Oh, semicolon. If, okay, so no brackets. If input dot is action pressed. Okay, that makes enough sense. Not 100%. Is this action pressed walk right? Is that like button pressed horizontal in Unity? We will find out. Do I have to define that somewhere? Stop putting semicolons on stuff. Right, okay, so that should be the end of that function. I guess the code just knows that it's the end of the function. And then we want, this must be a built-in function that we're using right now. Physics process delta. And then we're calling on get input function. Okay, and velocity equals what is move and slide. Or presumably it's move with a slide to a stop kind of thing, as opposed to just abruptly stopping. There's a lot of built-in stuff for 2D. I can definitely already see the appeal of Godot as a 2D for a 2D developer. Not entirely sure why we're putting vector.2.0 dot dot up there, but go with it for now. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add some more stuff here because this is, I've just been trying to make it a 2D movement thing, but this is for a, the script that I'm copying is for a platform controller including things like jumping so I'm just gonna add that I wasn't going to but I'm just gonna add it now because it's getting a bit difficult to distinguish what I need and what I don't need because I don't know what I'm doing so there's the extra variables and then down here we want velocity dot y plus equals gravity times delta which I, I'm gonna assume is like time to update in unity and if input dot is action just pressed which I guess is like button down now I've got to assume I'm, I'm literally I have not read this tutorial that I'm following I've got to assume that I'm gonna to have to define some of these although it does seem to have like auto fills for them so I don't know I don't know we'll get there we'll find out I mean so in theory it knows whether you're on the floor somehow I'm not entirely sure how it knows but it knows so this needs to be an underscore I just I just want to try this and see if anything happens oh there he goes okay we have something right let's go back to 2d and give him like ground to stand on and also maybe let's just move him a little bit so he's in the center so I want to add a new 2d thing I guess it just needs to be a collider does it not well we're gonna find out so just for testing purposes let's just drag this down to here and spread that out and then let's just do a quick test run of that that certainly did not work. Okay, right, okay, so I, let's, we need to add it to a static body. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. 
I'm not sure how you make him move, but he fell. <laughs> Gravity affected him and he landed on the floor. Let's read a bit more of this tutorial, see if we can work out why we couldn't move just then. Okay, it's not I found the console. <laughs> we had all these errors racking up here. It's not moving because there is no such thing as walk underscore right and walk underscore left. I did think I would have to define these somewhere, so I just need to figure out where I need to define them now. So I want to go into project, project settings, and then somewhere in here, oh, that right there, input map. Walk left, and then we want walk right. And then we want jump. Okay, now let's just change this back to walk right. And then let's try that and see if that works. Woo, doesn't it just? That's a hell of a jump. And he's gone. So let's just knock this down considerably. Uh, let's go 500 and minus. Let's try 700. It's still a hell of a jump. That looks about right. And it does have a, apparently does have a built-in grounded check. So yeah, I can definitely see why this appeals to 2D game developers. I'm, I'm not going to try and mess around with the 3D thing in one video. But I am open to coming back and doing more videos in Godot because so far I'm enjoying this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a random asset from my stash of assets that I keep building up and never using and I'm going to try and make some kind of scene. Okay, so I've done a bit of messing around and I think I've figured out how to at least draw a tile map. So essentially you create a tile map up here like that. You click on the tile map and then you create an actual tile set by clicking on here. And then I've dragged in this one. Again, I will put a link to the asset pack that I've used if I can find it. Uh, and then you create a new tile by clicking on new single tile and then clicking on the area that you're going to use. It can be more than one tile. Like I, I've got one of them is this whole tree, all four of it. And then, sorry, I don't know what that banging is in the background, if you can hear that. Uh, and then basically you just click back on your tile set and your tiles show up here. So then I can do this. And then if I just repeat that process and then go back to my tile map, I can now give it a top, a bottom, and then some corners. And then can I just fill this? No, that doesn't work like that. I guess you have to actually have a region painted before you can fill it. There we go. So that's giving us like a, a bit of a land mass type thing. Uh, so about colliders, if I go back in here, I believe if I select a tile that we've already got, like this one for example, I can give it a collision mesh, like so. Although I don't actually want to give that one a collision mesh because we want to be able to walk on that one. These, however, these do want a collision mesh. So now what I don't know is if our character that we've already got established, our little weird box thing here, I don't know if he responds to the collision meshes on the tile set. So let's just move him inside the landmass that we've just created and see what happens if I press play. He does. Okay, so we're getting somewhere now. So what I will do next is I will, well, first off, I'm gonna replace Godot face here and give him something more appropriate. Again, if I can find something. Okay, so I've got a little dude a bit, a bit more size appropriate for the map. So let's go into our script. I'm gonna do away with the gravity stuff and the jump because he's not going to need to jump. So let's get rid of that, and then that, and that should be, we're going to have to add up and down movement, but that should be everything that we need. Yep, so now I can move left and right. So let's go into project settings, input, and we want to add walk up and walk down. And then obviously the buttons for those are W and D. No, not D, S. And then back into our script. And we basically just want to copy this, only now it's going to be... And instead of X, it's going to be Y. That's back to front, but yep, it works. So that wants to be plus, and that wants to be minus. 
So he goes very fast up and down, which I'm guessing is something to do with this. So I'm just going to go find out what that does. Okay, right, so the move and slide thing, what that was doing was it was saying if it is colliding with a surface on the axis, up or down, then it slides along it. So I guess that gets you like you're sliding down slopes and things like that. But obviously I don't want to do that because we're not going to be colliding in that way with a top down thing. So we've got move and collide, which as I understand it means that it moves and if it hits anything it collides, which gives us this. So it's not animated or anything, but he collides with the whole tile, which is a bit awkward looking because the whole tile is mostly grass with just a border, but it works for now. So in the interest of not making this video a painful 40 minutes of me figuring out how to use Godot, I'm going to stop with my faffing here. So that is everything for this video. Like I say, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I've got no intention of switching to Godot or changing away from Unity, not because I've got anything against any of the other engines, it, it's literally just, I only have a certain amount of time I can put into game development stuff, so I'd rather spend that time making games than learning a new engine right now. So it's not, I'm not saying it's never gonna happen, but if you do want to see more Godot videos, like maybe some sort of challenge or something, or you want me to learn how to do a basic thing and then do a proper tutorial video on that basic thing rather than me stumbling through trying to figure out how to do it now, let me know in the comments. But for now, that's the end of this video. So I'd like to thank all my amazing Patreons and the extra special thanks go to the Sugar Daddy slash Mama Tear Patreons who are Dave Maldine, Reg Reed, Gabriel White, Aaron Clark, Mr. Drunken Dragon, and Julian. As you all know, I am currently moving house. It's taking forever. It's extremely frustrating. Hopefully this will be the last video uploaded from my old house. Hopefully we should be in the new house by the time the next video comes out. If you've got any requests that aren't Minecraft, Feel free to drop them in the comments. There's quite a few great ideas that have been put in the Discord server, so I'm not short of ideas, but if people have something in particular they would like to see, I'm open to hearing it. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.